Today we dive into the story of the Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, and the People's National Party, PNP. In the early 20th century, Jamaica grappled with immense social and economic challenges. These struggles became the fertile ground where seeds of political activism were sown, leading to the birth of the JLP in 1943 and the PNP in 1938. Born out of necessity, these parties arose to represent and facilitate change. Who were the architects of these political entities? Let's meet them. On one side we have Sir Alexander Bustamante, the founder of the Jamaica Labour Party. A charismatic figure, Bustamante was a champion of the working class, with his party's philosophy deeply rooted in trade unionism. This ideology steered the JLP's vision, prioritizing labor rights and economic growth. On the other side, we find Norman Manley leading the People's National Party. Manley, a well-respected barrister, espoused democratic socialism. This ideology guided the PNP's policies, focusing on social equity and welfare. These two figures, Bustamante and Manley, each brought their unique perspectives and ideologies to the table. Trade unionism and democratic socialism thus became the guiding philosophies of the JLP and PNP, respectively. These ideologies not only shaped the party's visions and policies, but also formed the basis for Jamaica's political landscape. Two leaders, two ideologies, forming the bedrock for decades of political discourse. As Jamaica voyaged towards independence in 1962, the political landscape heated up. The two major players, the Jamaica Labour Party and the People's National Party, were instrumental in navigating this journey. The JLP, led by Sir Alexander Bustamante, and the PNP under Norman Manley, were not mere spectators but active participants in the crafting of Jamaica's destiny. Sir Alexander Bustamante, a man of immense charisma and conviction, took the reins as Jamaica's first Prime Minister. His leadership marked the beginning of an era where the JLP and PNP would take turns in governing the nation. These alternating periods of power allowed both parties to leave their mark and shape the nation's trajectory. The independence process was a crucible, tempering the parties and the nation they served. It was a time of hope, struggle, and ultimately triumph. The dawn of independence, a stage set for alternating power between the two parties. Distinct social and economic policies distinguished the JLP and PNP during their respective reigns. The Jamaica Labour Party, guided by its roots in trade unionism, championed the principles of a free market. This approach emphasized economic liberalization, private enterprise, and the reduction of government intervention. On the other hand, the People's National Party, with its foundation in democratic socialism, placed a strong emphasis on social justice and welfare. Their policies aimed at reducing inequality and improving the well-being of the population, often through state intervention and public programs. This included initiatives such as education reforms, healthcare improvements, and housing projects. While the JLP sought economic prosperity through individual freedoms and market dynamics, the PNP pursued societal equity through collective responsibility and welfare provisions. These contrasting approaches reflect the ideological differences between the two parties, two divergent paths, each leaving a lasting imprint on Jamaican society. The political landscape wasn't always peaceful. The 70s and 80s witnessed heightened tensions. This era was marked by a surge in political violence, casting a dark shadow over the elections. Supporters of the JLP and PNP found themselves locked in bitter conflict, the fallout from which impacted the nation deeply. Both parties, and indeed Jamaica itself, bore the brunt of this discord, which led to a significant shift in the country's political dynamics. A turbulent chapter etching scars on the nation's history. In the 21st century, the JLP and PNP remained dominant forces in Jamaican politics. Both entities have shown remarkable resilience and adaptability, evolving their ideologies to meet the demands of a changing society. Today, the JLP and PNP continue to shape Jamaica's political landscape, their influence echoing from the days of independence to the corridors of contemporary governance. In this modern context, the parties are not just custodians of the past, but architects of the future. They grapple with new challenges, 
crafting policies that address the nation's economic, social and environmental concerns. Each party brings its unique vision to the table, their distinct ideologies continuing to shape national discourse and direction. The contemporary political landscape of Jamaica is a testament to this ongoing dialogue between the JLP and PNP, their rivalry and cooperation, their successes and failures, all contribute to the rich tapestry of Jamaican politics, the legacies of the past guiding the political pathways of the present.